the only way to bring your emotional support animal out in public with you legally is if it is actually a service dog. Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I want to talk about why emotional support animals can't go into public. There are many, many reasons for this, but we're gonna start out with the law. Legally, they don't have public access rights. Because they are not service animals and they do not perform tasks to help mitigate a disability, they're just there for your emotional comfort, they're not welcome in non-pet friendly places. They also have not undergone the multiple years of training that a service dog has gone through. Fun fact, a service dog's training is never actually over. They're constantly learning and you have to make sure their skills stay sharp. And uh, yeah, so if you are not constantly training that animal to behave a certain way in public and to react a certain way to people and other dogs, which is uh, not at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, they are not welcome or allowed in public spaces that are not pet friendly. Okay, well that was weird. Water just started running somewhere in my house and I'm here by myself with the dogs. It's a ghost. Anyway, spooky stuff aside, emotional support animals are not service animals. They're not performing a task for you. Unfortunately, emotional support is not considered a task by law. Um, the laws kind of differ depending on where you are, but it's mostly the same. Emotional support animals are not allowed in public. Service dogs are. And the rules of what classifies your dog as a service dog are different in different areas. Like in Alberta, where I live, you have to pass a public access test and get a gover- <laughs> and receive a government-issued ID card stating that, yes, we are qualified to be out in public together. In the States, I don't believe there is any sort of um, registration. All those websites are a scam from what I've heard. I don't think you need an ID card. Maybe there's a few states where you need that, but federally, you are not required to show an ID or any kind of certification. In Canada, that's a different story. We need to pass a public access test and earn our ID and our right to never be kicked out of anywhere. If your dog has not gone through the proper training, if you have not trained your dog or it has not gone to school to be trained to perform specific tasks that help make it possible for you to actually live your life, they can't go in public with you. And I know it sucks. And I know not everybody has the financial resources required to get a service animal. The only solution to this, unfortunately, is <laughs> for eventually us to get more resources for mental health in general, and then maybe have some sort of government grant for service animals, or do a crowdfunding campaign like Kickstarter, or do a bottle drive, or sell stuff. Money is the worst, and it's even worse when you don't have any. <laughs> but unfortunately, the only way to bring your emotional support animal out in public with you legally is if it is actually a service dog. I'm really sorry if that offends anybody. I had a situation recently where somebody got offended by a post that I made on Facebook because they feel that people should be entitled to bring their emotional support animals with them if that's the only way that they're comfortable leaving the house. To that I say, maybe if you can't leave the house without your animal, you would benefit more from a service animal than from emotional support. And the laws, unfortunately, are in place for a reason. If my service animal is out in public and your emotional support animal is out in public and is not trained to ignore other dogs when they see them, then they can bark, they can bite, they can lunge at them, they can startle me. And as a person living with PTSD, I don't like being startled. That heightened startle reflex is no joke, and if your dog starts barking at my dog in public, I'm gonna be startled and triggered, and then my dog's gonna have to work overtime. And I don't have the kind of money to pay this bitch overtime. All jokes aside, it can be potentially dangerous, and I'm sure your dog is well behaved, and I really understand, truly, I understand not being able to leave the house. Sometimes the anxiety is crippling, and you can't. You just physically cannot, but that is where a service animal comes in. Hilarious, literally my service dog in training just walked in. Hi Sadie Pup. What it comes down to basically is the training and 
the level of need. And if you do have that level of need, I honestly think that you would benefit from having a service animal who can help guide you when you're dissociated or help you to calm down by doing deep pressure therapy on you and can alert you when you're about to be way up here anxious outside your window of tolerance as my <laughs> therapist calls it. They can alert you by smelling the stress hormone and monitoring your behavior. If you start bouncing your leg or picking at your skin, <laughs> as I'm doing right now, and uh, like pulling your hair or any kind of behaviors that need to be interrupted before they explode into an anxiety attack or a panic attack. And I know it's easier said than done, trust me. I'm owner training a puppy by myself right now. I do not take it for granted. I understand exactly how lucky I am to be able to sit here and preach to you like, just get a service dog, it's fine. But honestly, talk to your doctor and see if they think you would benefit more from an emotional support animal or a service animal. And on that positive note, I'm gonna leave you. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this. Let's talk about it. And maybe the more we talk about it, the more people will be educated on the topic and the more people will maybe eventually in the future have resources and the help they need to live their lives to the fullest, or at least at all. There are people who cannot function without an animal. I am, most of the time, one of those people. And it's brutal. And I think emotional support animals are just a gift from God himself. Please, if your animal is not properly trained, don't try to bring them into public because it is a real danger. I'm not trying to say that your dog is vicious or malicious or that you're a bad person. You never know how a dog's gonna react if you haven't specifically trained them in certain situations. like bringing them into public where they could have a run-in with my dog. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please remember to be kind to yourself and others today, and I will see you very soon. Bye. I used to be overwhelmed by every little thing Torn apart, unraveled at the seams I think it rooted in